Okay, so I'm going to basically try and repeat Patrick's talk in five minutes, so you'll uh, forgive me for having notes here. Who has seen or heard of a show called Trapdoor? Shit, not many. Uh, it's a show that, other than fueling a number of my formative childhood nightmares, was about a blue blob named Burke and a disembodied voice called The Thing Upstairs and a trapdoor that was filled with horrible, terrifying creatures that were waiting in the dark to get out. But before we can open the trapdoor, we need to arm ourselves with some knowledge. So get out your bingo cards. We're going to be talking about vector databases and LLMs. Vector databases, as we heard before, they're a type of database that doesn't have a query language. Instead, we query using natural language, and we get results in a way that understands context. It does this by taking your text and converting it into numbers, which is called a vector embedding. To visualize this, we've created a really simple vector embedding model for a real estate database that outputs two numbers, the number of bedrooms and the likelihood to be haunted. Then we fill our database with real estate listings and we plot those vectors on a graph. Then we want to, when, if we want to search for the 1980s British claymation show Trapdoor, we look at the number of bedrooms and likelihood to be haunted of that television show, plot it on the graph, and then ref return everything that is close to it on that graph. Um, now, the real ones are a little bit more complicated than this. They use something called cosine similarity rather than Google Slides, but you get the picture. The next thing we need to understand is LLMs, large language models. Um, you've already had this explained to you by someone smarter than me, but I'm going to keep it brief. Uh, they're weirdly human in that they make mistakes. They try to impress people that they don't know. They lie. They even get seasonal affective disorder. I'm not joking. Results get worse in December. <laughs> what matters is, uh, and the other thing is that they are not just the sum of all of the stuff they were trained on. They're both more than that and less than that at the same time. They can come up with things that are correct that it wasn't trained on, but it can also completely forget something that it was trained on, much like a human. The thing that's important for us is the way we interact with them. We give them a prompt, and then it give, which is text, and then it gives back some more text that tries to answer that prompt. That's it. Text goes in, text comes out. Um, so to summarize, we have the thing upstairs, which is a lazy disembodied voice that gives commands. We have the L that's the prompt. We have the LLM, which is Burke, the, the helpful uh, assistant. But this was about documentation, this talk. So the only things that are left is a, a sentient skull, a very cute spider, and a trapdoor filled with horrible, horrible monsters. I wonder which one's the documentation. Yeah, you bet it's the trapdoor. So documents and diagrams and incident reviews went in there and they got ignored. And then they started making sounds and staring back at you. And only the bravest, most senior engineers can wrestle the confluence search syntax to find the one piece of documentation that happens to be relevant to the thing that is happening right now. And you've tried to tame it, but it's got a life of its own. So using what we've learned, we can tame it. Firstly, you dump all of your documentation into a vector database. It does the thing, it puts it on a graph. That gives you a really, really good search. We also have the LLM. The LLM is good at understanding documents, deciding what's relevant, summarizing. So how do we integrate them? Well, it is laughably simple. First, we take a question from a user. We give that question to the vector database. The vector database returns some documentation from our internal docs that it thinks satisfies that question. Then we start combining this into a prompt. We create a prompt that says, your task is to answer the following question, user's question. Use the following information from our internal documentation to answer that question. And then you paste the results. If you don't find anything in there, do not make it up. You may have to reiterate that. Really, really don't make it up, because it will try. And then you send that to the LLM, and you get an answer. And that's literally it. That's how these things are being built today. There are some smarter things, which you saw. But it's literally you paste some stuff into some text, and you send it to an LLM, and that's it. And it's very easy to use. You can definitely get started with it today. We've been playing around with it. We've had an LLM tell us in CI, as part of a pull request, 
that you've made this change before and last time you made this change, it caused an outage and here is the outage report. Um, <laughs> we did that in a couple of days. It's pretty cool. You guys have better internal documentation than we do because we're a small company, so feed it into this sort of thing. It's definitely worth trying. Nicely done.